am on a roll. We got a giant. Our first bear's a pig. Two thousand dead. First bone kill. Alright, we hiked up here to this glassing spot. We glass for half hour or so. It doesn't look uh, like I thought it would. There's not very, a lot of like grassy openings. It's super brushy, cliffy, some timber. We saw some elk, some bulls, but no bears so far. Honestly, it's gonna be really hard to hunt them, even if we did see something in there. So we're gonna go uh, to a little bit different spot and glass some more huntable country. Something I think we're gonna find more bears in anyways, uh, out in those open grassy slopes. So we're gonna go try something new. We sat down and started glassing just a few minutes ago and Taylor already spotted a bear way over on the other side up towards the top. It would take us until this evening probably to get up there. Right now I'm kind of thinking we should just, I think we should probably hike up on that ridge and just glass that area. Even if that bear doesn't feed back out this evening, a different bear probably will. across the river and we're heading up. We gotta walk up the, along the river for a little bit and then hopefully get up on this ridge that should give us a good spot to camp and also give us a good vantage point into where we've been seeing the bears today. It took us, that's probably a 20 foot little section and it took us 15 minutes to cross it. Just wrapped up in thorns, like above your head, all the way down. Every type of bush you can think of that has thorns is right here. Go hunting, they said. It'll be fun, they said. We just rushed to get the tent all set up because the storm was rolling in. Got everything thrown in here, got our boots off. All of our gears in here. And then at the wind was blowing, it was sprinkling. We thought we got here just in the nick of time. And uh, all of a sudden, the wind stopped. And we're trying to figure out what was going on. We peeked out, and the storm was gone. We came out of the tent because the storm blew away. Just started glassing back up in the same spot where we saw the other two bears. And Taylor caught a kind of a cinnamon bear. Looked like a good sized bear. And ended up having a little cub, so it's a sow with the first year cub. We're now up to four bears on one little ridge. <laughs> so I think we got a good little pocket here, and if we spend some time glassing, we're definitely gonna find a, a bear we can go after. It's all just gonna be about trying to find a good vantage point and a good spot to shoot from. spotted Tyler found he's up here in a clearing sitting on a log right now so we got at least 700 yards to go but we're gonna give her a go let's do it we got up here to the edge of the drainage and it's like there's a bunch of cliffs and stuff here it's gonna take us too long to get over there to where we can get closer and close the distance so we're gonna get back here to where we can see him 
and just get set up. And if we feel good about the shot, we'll take it. If not, we'll wait till tomorrow. We got plenty of time. So we're here to go get set up and see if we can get a shot. Um, see, he might come down the hill even. So we're gonna set, set up down here. We came back down and we can't find him. This is where we saw him from last. And he was about 750 yards from here. Now he's gone. We don't know if he went over the top of the ridge or if he's gonna pop out lower, so we're just gonna chill here. Pretty hard to make a decision. I just don't know if we would have been able to get up there and find him again. And then it was gonna be pretty gnarly trying to get out of this hole in the dark. We went back down and we couldn't find him. So we decided we'd get up here as close as we can before it gets dark. And at the least, try and find a way, a good route to get up here if we have to make a play on another bear. But we're up here, we can see the area okay. But we're not seeing any bear, so we're just gonna chill out, keep glassing at night. And if he pops out, awesome. If not, then um, we're gonna be right here in the morning. So we're sitting here, glass this morning, and then right here by our tent, we just got this chocolate bear right here. And uh, looks like a decent bear. He's like 600 yards right now. We're gonna see if we can cut it to five and take a shot. Are you steady? Not great. Get to where you're super dialed. Steady. Just bob in here and shoot him. Dude, that scope is like, I, my head has to be way too far back. Like, I feel like I'm like, you know what I'm saying? He's just right in these trees, just get set up. See those? Three trees. really quick we were set up right here we that bear disappeared I had a feeling maybe it was gonna come up the bottom and come up our side and uh, Taylor circled around he circled around and went up trying to get a better look I'm sitting here and I'm looking down all of a sudden I see the bear on our hillside about 100 to about 200 yards below Taylor I ran got the phone scope set up on him on the bear and then I tried to point to Taylor where the bear was, but I, I don't think he could see him. There's too many like little rolls in the hillside and too many trees and rocks and stuff. I ran up, grabbed my gun, grabbed my pack, laid down over my pack right down here. Oh man, <laughs> laid down over my pack 
and got on it, got the phone scope set up, and then uh, this was the last little opening before he's gonna be gone forever, probably. So I took a shot, quartering away, put it behind the shoulder. I know it was a hit. It was. A, I'm gonna watch the footage back and see, see, uh, see where I hit it, and make sure it's a good shot. So we got over here, um, right here is where I hit the bear. And then we can see it's tracks and there's a little bit of blood it's just running up here. So we're gonna start tracking and uh, hopefully get another quick one in if she needs it. But she was quartering really hard, so I think it should be a good shot. Um, we're gonna go up here and just make sure. She's just taking like a champ, dude. That's a decent sized bear. Yeah. Dude, that was a fun hunt, man. Dude, that was intense. You got that. I can't believe I spotted her right there. I no, was, I... I was like, I have no idea, I have no idea. And I was like, I think she's dead, but you better be <laughs> safe, so come back here. And then I saw her roll over. I was like, oh, shoot, she's alive. Some close shooting, dude. We got one, dude. Hey. Heck yeah. Man, that's why I threw my shots. So we just got to my bear and uh, super pumped. It's such a such a cool looking bear. This this bear doesn't have it didn't have all the characteristics um, of a of a boar. And so this is one of those is like a super tough call on whether it's a sow or a boar. Um, we we got to watch it for a long time. It was on this big hillside. And so uh, we knew it didn't have any cubs. Um, you know, it went all the way up, dropped all the way down, came up this side, and it was moving. Um, so I was, it still kind of looked like a sow to me, but uh, I was just thinking back, and and it definitely had the mannerisms of a boar. Like this time of year, there's, uh, they're kind of start, they're starting to rut, and so these boars, they get out and they're just covering country, nose on the ground, uh, trying to sniff out some sows, and so that's exactly what this boar was doing was we saw him yesterday clear up in the top and then this morning he was all the way down here and then he was just covering country. He was on the move, almost looked like he was spooked, um, but he wasn't, he was just, that's just what they do. They're, they're covering country looking for sows, so. Um, yep, so it's not always the body characteristics um, that can tell you it's a boar, but um, also just it's uh, mannerisms.
right now, man. We're up on this hill. Glass and hoping to turn up the black one from last night, but I'm not finding him at the moment, but I'm going to. We got one more bear to shoot tonight. He's just up in that clearing, man. Up higher, I think. No, he's lower. Yeah, he's way lower. So see this, you can see him naked eye coming off this little slope in that clearing. There's that one tree with nothing on it. He's coming across that. up this morning this morning morning of day three we decided to just glass one last time because we don't have a lot of time we gotta we got quite the trek back with camp and this bear and then uh it's gonna take us a while it's some rugged country lots of cliffs so we're gonna have to it'll take a while to navigate it we decided we'd hunt in the morning and we didn't turn anything up so we're just packing up camp now gonna load this bear hide up and we're gonna head out Call it a chair. Hey guys, thanks for watching episode two, Tyler and Taylor's crazy backcountry spot and stock hunt. This week we're giving away 10 base map pro subscriptions. It's gonna be a free year long subscription to you. We're gonna pick 10 different winners. The winners will be selected August 21st. All you have to do to enter is like, drop a comment and make sure you're a subscriber. Stay tuned for next Friday's episode. Clint and I head out with the top priority boys. Justin and Jeremy for another spot and stock rifle hunt. Thanks guys. Also scroll down to the video description. There you'll see some discounts to some of our favorite tools that we use while in the field. The first being the base map app. There you'll see a link, click on the link and you'll see that you get 20% off the base map pro plan. The base map pro plan gives you access to hundreds of map layers offline maps so that when you're out of service, you can still navigate public and private land, live location sharing so that when you're hunting with your buddies, everyone knows what's going on, and access to all 50 states. 
Last thing, and our favorite thing, also access to 3D maps, which is way cool. You'll also see a link for 10% off Goat Knives. Go ahead and click on that link. All you have to do is add the Capra Hunter TI into your cart, hit checkout, and then you'll see that your 10% off savings are already applied. You can also see links to our Traverse Bino Harness, rifle cover, and other Muley Free gear. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next Friday. All right, this is the craziest thing. So we left the boat to go get to the truck with our packs and we were walking away and it looked like it was drifting off. So I ran down and I pulled it up on the bank even farther, like way up on the bank. I have no idea how this even happened, but we came back to pick up the boat and it's floating down the freaking river. And I think it's not even possible to get at at this point. sunk we lost everything but one oar finally eddied out right here about 15 feet from the bank bomb down stripped the boots and the hat sunglasses dove in we just pulled her up right here someone stopped the tow rope and we carried it halfway and they towed it the rest of the way that easy it was a ton of fun man <laughs>